Hello there and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. I'm Carol and today we'll simplify terms you may have come across in clinical trials, rare or often diseases. Let's dive right in. We'll start with the definitions for the terms rare or often. A rare disease, like the name suggests, is rare and refers to any disease that affects a small percentage of the population, while an orphan disease often refers to diseases that are rare and have been neglected due to lack of market large enough to get support or resources in developing its treatments, meaning both terms are used synonymously. When it comes to prevalence or the number of people living with these diseases or conditions, the terms rare or orphan varies across the globe. For example, in Japan, a disease is considered rare when it affects less than 50,000 patients or 1 in 2,500 people. In Australia, less than 2,000 patients. In the United States, when it affects less than 200,000 or 1 in 1,500 people. In Europe, however, the European Commission on Public Health additionally defines rare diseases as low in prevalence when it affects less than 5 in 10,000 people and the disease or condition also has to be considered life-threatening and or chronically debilitating. There are approximately 400 million people worldwide affected by rare diseases. 30 million of these are in Europe and 25 million in the US. The prevalence can also vary from one population to another due to different reasons. What you'll find is that while individually a disease may be uncommon, it can be a major burden to a certain population. For example, malaria, which is one of the major world public health problems that actually causes death in children every two minutes, also causes 350 to 500 million infections worldwide, is still considered rare or uncommon, for example, in the United States, where approximately 1,200 cases are diagnosed each year. Another example you may already be familiar with, cystic fibrosis, a genetic disorder that affects approximately 30,000 people in the US is also considered rare and has a prevalence of birth of 1 in 3,000. Why should rare or orphan diseases not be ignored? It's clear from the financial point of view the pharma industry has little interest in developing and marketing products intended only for a small number of patients. This may be due to reasons such as high costs spent on developing these drugs and this would not be recovered by the expected market sales. On the other hand, if a company successfully develops a product to treat a rare disease, the organization can reach a monopoly status fast since they will have no competitors on the market. But there are of course also good medical reasons why we should not put these diseases or conditions aside when it comes to research on novel therapies or interventions. While the majority of rare diseases are due to genetics, with 70% of rare diseases starting in childhood, for example, all forms of cancer in children, are generally considered rare. The same cancer in adults may be more common. You'll find that actually more than half of rare diseases appear during adulthood, like in the cases of renal cancer carcinoma and acute myeloid leukemia. These are good examples. Hence, the rare diseases should not be ignored as they can tell us a lot about more common diseases. We have, however, had progress in the recent decades resulting in developments in also legal frameworks being put in place to encourage manufacturers to develop treatments for such conditions, bringing us to the term often designation. In the US, this status or designation often is granted to a drug or a product by the Orphan Drug Act or ODA to treat a rare disease or condition upon request of a sponsor once certain criteria are met. In the EU, EMA plays a central role in facilitating the development and authorization of orphan or rare diseases. Again, in the EU, certain criteria must also be met, examined by EMA's committees for orphan medicinal products, COMP, and the orphan designation granted by the European Commission. Let's discuss some challenges that have been faced in clinical research in rare and often diseases. One of the biggest challenges is, of course, patient recruitment, since in a lot of these cases, such diseases are often found in small patient populations. It's also been shown that recruitment is better in regions that experience more genetic birth defects, such as those from countries where intrafamilial sexual activities are unfortunately still frequent, mostly in underdeveloped countries. This, however, paves way to challenge number two, 
finding experienced investigators in these regions. This may be difficult as the number of recruitable patients usually also correlates with the number of experienced investigators. Especially in countries where the rare diseases are more common, the number of experienced investigators tends to be less. Therefore, finding a high number of study sites with large variation in countries taking part in the study is useful to avoid a lag in recruitment phase because otherwise recruitment could last forever. We recommend that it's important to find support when working with such trials as you will need expertise on targeting patient enrollment, managing the data collection, creating a good study design, funding and also reimbursement. It's also crucial to ensure high quality in your clinical trial, which may also require a diverse population of the participants, which can be challenging for the participants, especially when required to travel so far. You will therefore need to find a CRO that can provide you with the right infrastructure to engage remote processes in the data collection to enable you monitor data trends or patterns. And with that, we hope this was beneficial. Please also note that the EU offers a range of incentives to encourage the development of designated orphan drugs. Therefore, ask for support when you need it. More topics in clinical research in our next video. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Hey there. Don't forget, like and subscribe. But most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.